Windows 11 is a pretty well optimized operating system, but it can always use a little bit more RAM. My name is Adullah, you're watching Gandhi.Technology, Technology, and in this video, we're talking about how you can allocate more virtual RAM to your Windows system. Well, uh, the first thing that you need to do if you're on Windows 11 is press Windows key plus I to open up Windows settings. And here, we're going to head over to system, and then we're going to scroll all the way down and click on about. Here you can see uh, all of the information on my system. Uh, we've got the installed RAM um, and as you can see it is 16 GBs right here. Now once we're in here we're going to go ahead and click on the advanced system settings option which will open up this new window. Uh, in here what we're going to do is click on uh, advanced and then uh, under the performance tab go ahead and click on settings in here head over to advanced and then under virtual memory we're going to go ahead and click change now uh, windows automatically manages paging file sizes for all drives but we're not going to do that uh, we just uncheck this and now uh, select the custom size option now you can select bo uh, any of your drives for this particular thing i am just going ahead with the c drive and now you can enter the initial and the maximum size for your paging files. Now, the general rule of thumb is that the paging file needs to be at least 1.5 times uh, your system memory. So if uh, I have uh, 16 GB of RAM into 1.5 would make it 24. So I need 24 GBs and 24 GBs in MB would be 24 into 1024 which is 24,576. So just copy and paste it here. And that is my minimum size. The maximum size can be anything you want. I will just uh, make it 48. So 48 into 1024 would be 49,152. We'll copy and paste that there as well. And um, yeah, that's it. Uh, you can also see your current paging file sizes so the recommended uh, and the currently allocated file size as you can see ours is pretty uh, big now just because you are allocating more virtual memory to your system that is not going to automatically increase its performance virtual memory is only really used when you max out your ram and the system has to go to your ssd this also depends uh, any performance gains will also not likely be visible because there is a good chance that your ssd might be slow or just as fast as your ram in my case i have a 7600 mega transfers per second ram which is about the fastest you can find so there's a good chance that my ssd is going to be slower or about the same speed as that so you're not really going to see a performance boost from this so you can leave these settings unaddressed but in case you want to customize them this is how you do it so once you've entered your numbers come down here click on ok uh it will give you a warning that the computer needs to restart before the settings take effect click ok again click apply ok and then ok again now windows will give you a label whether or not you want to restart your system now or later i recommend you uh, reinstall restart it right now i'm just going to go ahead and do it later because i need to finish this video if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video